Hey you guys, decided to do a bonus reading for this weekend. Um, so let's go ahead and focus on that. For those of you that maybe feel like you need a little extra message, um, I'll do two separate categories, one for love, one for general or finances. So let's see here, what messages, additional messages are there in regards to love or romance? And what additional messages are there in regards to finances or uh, work or any other general messages for my viewers? Okay, so love situation, you could be dealing with an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or maybe that's your sign. Now, I'm getting here that you are going to have some sort of wish fulfillment, <clears throat> but you need to be clear on what it is that you want. You also may need to set boundaries with someone um, or be direct. It also may be that you receive some sort of um, message in regards to um, your love life. You might find out that someone is recently single, or you may find out that someone actually has their eye on you. Now, the only other thing in your love situation, I don't like having this set. Um, so this indicates that even if you do have a love interest or you have a love life, <clears throat> excuse me, um, you guys might... You guys are playing mind games with each other, I think. I think something's going on where both of you are, are playing mind games and it's kind of fun or you're just kind of running with it. Um, it's, still, it's still an issue of trust going on. It Even if someone comes into your life, uh, a new person comes into your life, I feel like maybe it's some sort of wish fulfillment, but then at the same time, you guys are going to be guarded towards each other for whatever reason. It's like if they're not going to be, if they don't trust you, it's, you kind of say, well, I'm not going to trust them or I can't, if they're not going to be this way or the other with me, then I just can't with them. So I feel like something's going on where you guys are just still going to be very guarded with each other. Um, again, we're dealing with pride. We're dealing with ego. Um, and I feel like you guys also may be doing things to push each other's buttons, but you know, it can't be a winning situation with these fives coming out. It's just, it's just bumping heads, bumping heads. So I feel like, uh, someone needs to be the bigger person. If things are going to move forward, you may end up reaching some sort of stalemate in your love life. Um, it's also some sort of competitive energy. Both people think they're right. Um, I just feel like, you know, it, it can be difficult. There's some sort of, um, there's some sort of power struggles. I also feel though, though, with the nine of cups here, I still say that somebody thinks that this is fun. Um, someone find, gets a kick out of being difficult or just, you know, playing games. Somebody might be playing hard to get. It's like you guys are doing the same thing. Even though you might both be in love or this is someone that would make you happy if only you would stop pushing each other away or playing some sort of mind games. But let me look a little more at the Five of Swords here. Yeah, so someone's definitely coming off guarded. Um, someone's definitely refusing to back down. Um, hmm. Someone is determined to be right. If you're in a relationship and there's a lot of bickering going on, I feel like, um, like you just need to take the high road. 
because they're not backing down. You're not backing down. I do feel like the seven of wands, I mean, somebody's got to come out um, victorious, but still. You also could be dealing with um, an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This also might be a relationship where there's an age gap. See, somebody just wants it to be over. Somebody is like, I don't want to fight anymore. But at the same time, someone is keeping up drama or still being guarded. And this is like someone who you would idealize or fantasize about. Now, I also see this as on the flip side, all this inner, this competitive energy is indicating that uh, there may be two love interests and they're both competing for you or you're in a situation where you're competing for someone um, along with another person. I know some of, some of you are going to say, is it, you know, I'm not in competition. If somebody is talking to you and another person, you know, maybe you feel like you you claim them so you know in the end they're gonna be with you okay maybe that's your that's why you feel like it's not competition but if it's still if it's you and another person pining for the same person and not saying that you're necessarily chasing them just that there's options this person has options it's it's kind of like a competitive situation um, but it could be happening to you or you know maybe like I said it's the other way around. Um, but it, it does look like this is some somebody that you idealize or fantasize about or that you're attracted to. Uh, but for whatever reason, you guys are just bumping heads. Um, there may be a need to just, I don't know, maybe you need to take peace or just stop. Don't feed into something unless you're having fun with it because then the Nine of Cups does look like somebody thinks something is funny. Um it's like, oh, that's cute. Oh, you want to do that? Oh, me too. And I feel like if you try to ignore the other person, they're going to do something to try to get a rise out of you or vice versa. So at first, I feel like something goes from ignoring the other person to just trying to get do stuff to get their attention. And then let me just kind of look at the five of wands. So, like I was saying, it could be two people coming towards you. Could be fire energy. Could be something going on with you and fire signs. Two fire signs um, trying to get your attention, or just you coming off as very attracted. Uh, this also looks like two people in general who are attracted to each other. But like I said, you two are fighting it um, or trying to pretend like. You're not interested, but it's like if the two of you were in the same room, other people could feel the chemistry going on between the two of you. This is something that you asked for. We got the Nine of Cups out and the Star. So that is, again, confirming some sort of wish fulfillment. Look, the lovers, choices, choices. And this is someone that was sent to you or you guys were sent to each other. Um, but it's like game playing here. Or you're being just, you know, resistant towards towards each each other, um, and it does look like here that this is some sort of soul contract. You also could be in disbelief. Oh, look at that, Two of Cups at the bottom. Hmm. Somebody's already been keeping tabs on you. Someone already has been secretly pursuing you. Unless you're the pursuer, there's somebody that you've been secretly watching and pursuing. Um. There's a lot of fire. So definitely some fire energy around you or somebody that has fire in their chart or someone that just has like that fiery nature, competitive energy, uh, strong willed, likes to do things their way. Um, I feel like you met you met your match, but you guys are just going to have to learn how to put your guards down and, and stop fighting each other and try to work with each other. Um, okay, and then so... In regards to something, the general information, you're being asked to just have patience about your situation. 
there's some sort of secrets around you. I feel like if something is going on in regards to your finances, like someone is trying to block you or receive, like your, your finances may be held back or there's a hold on you receiving something. Um, I wouldn't worry about it though because this looks like you're going to get it. It looks like they're going to release a hold on something. If this is about something continuing from romance or just dealing with friendship, it's indicating that the reason why someone is being guarded towards you or holding back is because they secretly are attracted to you. Um, I also feel that there is a need to trust or someone wants to know if you're trustworthy and this came out in one of the element readings, but I feel like maybe someone wants to know if you're trustworthy. And I do feel like there is this, this understanding between two people. It's like, we got an understanding. Okay. As long as we got an understanding. And I kind of feel like that's the conversation that's taking place. Like as long as we have an understanding, um, because I feel like something at some point you can't deny, uh, what you're feeling for someone. And I feel like the truth is going to come out. So whatever is being kept a secret or whatever is being held back from your viewing is going to come out. Um, so for most of you, this is talking about some sort of uh, hidden attraction. Now, if it is dealing with your finances, like I said, I don't know what the reason is, but I feel like there's some sort of private discussion going on um, between whoever is in charge of these finances, especially if this is talking about legal, I mean, sorry, uh, government documents. There's some sort of hold up. There's some sort of secrets taking place and whatever it is, it's going to get exposed. So if someone is doing something that isn't fair to the people uh, or, you know, whether it's government or something at your job, like it's going to get exposed. Um, now, I feel too that Someone's going to be getting a lot of attention. Either you or someone that you deal with gets a lot of attention. This also could be a very creative weekend for you. Whatever you're working on, I feel like maybe you're finally revealing what you've been working on. Some sort of artwork or some sort of song or some sort of project. And I feel like you're going to reveal it. Something had to stay under wraps until a certain time. You also could be dealing with a Leo, Aries, or a Sagittarius. Let me look at the High Priestess some more. Something is saying hold on and just, you know, have patience <clears throat> in your situation. It's saying hold on. Uh, something takes a lot of courage. Someone may need encouragement. I don't know if you're encouraging someone or if someone is encouraging you. Hmm. Something is a part of your destiny or your calling here. Something is telling you this is part of your calling. You're like, you know what? I think this is spirit is speaking to me. And like I said, something's being revealed in secret as well. You might receive some sort of message. Um, and it's like a secret or it's like a, you know, DM or something. But I, I feel like you're going to receive a message or a secret call. Like someone might call you from a private number. <clears throat> I also feel like if this is about dreams, that things are going to be revealed to you in a dream that changes your destiny or the course or the path that you are on. I'm also getting energy of a soulmate coming towards you. So someone is going to reveal their feelings. And I'm sorry this is supposed to be about romance, but it is, it's still, it's like it's a continuation from whatever was going on here. Um, so yeah, I, like I was just saying, somebody is a part of your um, 
calling. I feel like there's a soulmate. You guys maybe share a previous life together and this is someone that you trust and it just feels like you guys are best friends. Um, I feel too that someone is, is needing courage or they're taking their time with, you know, revealing their intimate side or becoming vulnerable like it takes time for someone to be vulnerable so you can't rush someone or force someone to be vulnerable or open you have to just trust that they'll be open with you when the time is right or when they're ready um, or this is what you need you need someone to give you time and I also feel like um, is speaking of time Something, someone may come into your life if you're single. Someone may come into your life during Gemini season, um, within your next menstrual cycle for my female viewers, or within the next 30 days. <clears throat> so let me also look at, let me also look at um, strength. Wow, it's clarified by the sun again. So I feel like something's going on where whatever someone has been trying to hold back is going to be released. It's like I can't hold this back anymore. It's too hard. I need to put this out into the open. So anything dealing with secrets will be coming out. Anything dealing with the truth is going to come out. If there have been lies in the past, like the truth is going to come out. If somebody's been in jail, they're getting released. Um, if you've been held accountable for something or something's been going on, you're being released from that. So somebody can't hold something back from you anymore. <clears throat> Even if it's something legal, like someone was trying to hold something against you, it's like that they're, it's going to be released. Your name is going to get cleared. If it's been smeared, <laughs> like your name's gonna get cleared. Um, and I also feel like someone regrets keeping some sort of secret from you, or they regret not sharing how they felt in the first place. Um, and you know what? I think, too, the reason why someone has been very guarded is because they've been hurt in the past, or they've just been, they've just been hurting. Someone's been uh, having to come off being strong for everybody else. So this is like one of those type of people that's not allowed to weep because they feel like they are supposed to be everyone else's rock. But I feel like now you are their rock or you're each other's rock. So this is someone who you can lean on and, and, and they can lean on you. And I just feel like this is, this is a pretty good match and I also feel like someone who's normally out of control for whatever for whatever reason they at controlled or tamed around you you have something over you where they just they they respect you or they just feel like they can uh, be themselves around you or vice versa maybe this is the way you feel about them let me look at the sun. I can see the sun also being about some sort of good news. This is some sort of positive information coming out. Something's going to make you very happy. I also see someone getting, like I said earlier, a lot of attention. Okay, so also if someone has been hiding the fact that they're pregnant or have a child, like it's going to come out into the open. This also looks like whatever someone has secretly desires will come out into the open. So if someone has been having some sort of sexual desires towards you, especially if it's a friend, I feel like there something happens where it gets confirmed. Hmm. 
Now, I also get too that there's someone that may want to spoil you. There's someone around you that may want to spoil you like rotten. Um, they may be wanting to give you, spoil you with uh, material things. It, it looks like material things. It could be attention. I also feel that you may be getting involved with um, a famous family or like something something runs in their family or someone famous was in their family um, or someone if it's not fame it's just like someone that had a high status like getting involved with the governor like someone's like oh yeah my uncle was the governor of this or oh yeah that street is named after my grandfather you can look it up in the history books like I feel like you're dealing with someone that has some sort of um, a popular or famous background. And that's not impossible. Hell, my, my daddy was friends with Muhammad Ali, okay? So <laughs> just putting that out there to let you know that it doesn't have to be that far-fetched. But there's like something, you know, that could be very... Uh, dealing with someone who has fame or popularity in their family. <clears throat> now also, hmm, I feel like someone is being inspired to pursue their dreams. So yeah, someone feels inspired. You, you might feel inspired. You might see something that inspires you. Uh, to create or to pursue your dreams or you are the one that inspires others. Um, if you have some sort of talent or gift, I can see you making money from it. And then like I said, if your money is being held back, it looks like there's going to be a release. You're going to get your money. And then because you have that money, you're going to be able to buy things that you've been wanting to buy or um, do things to take care of yourself. Maybe you want to buy you some new clothes. Um, maybe you want to go, you know, online shopping or you're, maybe you want to do things to the home. So you're definitely going to have uh, some sort of material comfort. Something gives you a sense of security over the weekend. <clears throat> and then let me just also quickly go over the Queen of Wands. If you are, you know, business-wise, I think it's meant for a lot of you to establish your own business. That's what I'm getting. If you're not establishing your own business, then you need to, um, you need to be in charge. You need to be a leader. Even if you're only your own boss and you like, you don't need any micromanagement, uh, you might be getting recognized as a leader um, this weekend or very talented, someone who's very talented or gifted. Now I'm getting the name Susan for somebody. Um, let's see here. So this person, there's a fire sign. If you were dealing with a fire sign, this person was was hurt by you or if you are a fire sign there is somebody that hurt you that wants to um, apologize or come clean with something mm. somebody could be hurt by what is said they're being so bold Or the way something comes out because I feel like the truth is coming out about some things but even though you have the confidence to say what you need to say you might end up hurting someone in the process just be mindful of someone's feelings if you can <laughs> um, but it shows that whoever is hurt whether it's you or you are hurting someone that I don't mean to sit sound harsh but it, it does show that somebody's gonna get over it um, somebody will heal from whatever comes out. All right, so that is all, you guys. Hopefully the bonus messages helped too. Um, but thank you so much for uh, tuning in and many blessings to you.